start with, I had McDonald's slash an Emmett muffin meal with three hash browns. Shay, Shay and Liam, please show the reality of how you feel after you eat all this. Take us to the toilet with you. You probably go once a week. It's a healthy but very realistic what I eat in a day. This is what I eat in a day as a skinny girl who doesn't really care what she eats, doesn't care about calories, just eats intuitively. My oh! Hey Frugal, welcome back to Frugal Diet Channel. So this is a little bit of a familiar scene. I've got the old mic, which some of you do not like, but this is a way that I can get out as much content as possible. I'm challenging myself for the next 30 days to do a new video every day, a new reaction video every day. So come back here every single day for the next 30 days and you're gonna find new content. You know, I just turned 42 and I'm like, this is a good challenge, okay? Because I have been suffering from this dental nightmare, which a lot of you know about. There has been, you know, subsequent issues, but I'm still at it, you know, I'm still at it. I'm still here. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for that content. And we're going to be reacting to a TikTok what I eat in a day, what I eat in a day videos today. So should be good. Anyway, let's get into it. Let me know down below what you think, your comments, vote on the video. And um, let's check out these, these what I eat in a days. All right, let's see what the upcoming generation is eating, what they eat in a day. This one looks like an absolute shocker. What is going on? This is a what I eat in a day tag on um, TikTok. And there's thousands. There's like thousands of uploads here from young women all over the world just uploading what they eat in a day. And it's pretty shocking. It's, for the most part, very shocking. So we're going to check out oh, – hang on. Yeah, we're going to get to that one. But this individual, she definitely gets my attention because she's so slim. And for me, that is definitely a body – um, built from under eating or you know you're not building much when you're under eating but definitely um, under eating look versus like a slim and nourished so let's check it out to begin with all right had more snacks than usual this is from milk kiss 211 what eat in a day it, you know it just it's just there isn't this like uh extra flesh that you expect around this the reproductive um, area on a female all right, it's a little bit of a telltale sign. I've been looking at bodies for a long time, thousands. What I eat in a day. Breakfast. Oh, no. A cookie? You're going to have a cookie for breakfast? Okay. And peach yogurt. And of course, you got to get those drugs. The ice latte. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Just, that's a quite a large cookie, I think. Oh, this is just a tiny oven. All right, let's just turn this down. Um, oh, she's having some old cow secretions there. So, uh, oh, she's having those. Yeah, it's a it's a cookie. So that was that was her breakfast, like basically a, an old dry cookie. Anyway, like I say, enjoy. stick it in your Let bunker. You know this would be perfect think, bunker food when a war breaks and, um, out and you have to go down into your bunker. This is it because it can last for probably twenty years or more. So this is me today, 42 in the middle. These are my results on a fruit-based diet after like 16 years, but I mean, it's not going to take you 16 years to get those results or nearly 17. I don't know. Um, it's a long time. It's a long time. But on the right, that's me at 25. That's me at 25 years. And I feel like, I don't know, you know, like I, I've just turned back the hands of time and got my skin has got better. I'm slimmer. I'm so much healthier. And it's all because of a fruit-based diet. And go fruit yourself and the raw to four diet. They outline exactly exactly how to do it. Shopping list, meal planners. Over in between the two of them, I think over seventy recipes. And my naked my naked lunchbox is a great transition. It has um, beautiful uh, lunchbox recipes that are good for those transitioning to plant based. It's also full of female empowerment. So you can get a um, discount off all my books if you buy them in one go. You can get the ebooks instantly. Download them today. Start today. Get on that shopping list and yeah, just change your life forever like I have, as you can see myself. All right. So what's she going to have for lunch? Kimchi, bing, 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 Okay, Korean kimchi noodle. So she's putting in noodles. All right. Um... She made some kimchi. That's great. She made it herself. Oh, oh, wow. That is a lot of, that's soya sauce. I don't know if it's sodium reduced, but even a sodium reduced one is full of salt. And, you know, the kimchi has already got a whole lot of sodium. Oh, yikes. Uh, okay, so it's, huh. Do not tell me that is sugar. It's um, salt. I think that's sugar. So she, she needs some sweetness. She's getting the refined white sugar in there and um, the kimchi, right? Okay, that's where we're up to. 
mixing it up. Not a lot of fresh, right? We haven't seen any fresh. Okay, there you go. We have a little bit of cucumber, but honestly, this does not do a lot for your health. Okay, this does not do a lot for your health because it's such a little amount of fresh. Well, it look, it looks plant-based at least, right? She ate some plant-based. I'm, I'm very happy not to see any animal bits and pieces there. Great. Matcha, hang on, matcha latte. So she's having more drugs, vegetable chips and a cheesecake. Oh, wow. These ones, <laughs> these are the ones that you see, like, they kind of like last forever. They're on the shelf. They're not even the refrigerator section. It reminds me of that anyway. And it's in like this plastic and it just looks that way forever. Just frozen in time. Oh dear. How about some fruit? Let's got some chips there. Well, a lot of packet, a lot of packet is going on here. And she's not really eating a lot. And I don't know how much of that actual cheesecake she would eat either. Oh, local sea life, deep fried. Right. Uh, don't worry about the PCBs, the environmental pollutants, the heavy metals, parasite risk. It's just, it's not worth it to eat sea life. And the actual animals, who wants to eat animals? Oh no. A whole crab. Why? Totally unnecessary. I don't care what your culture is. It's unnecessary. It is unhealthy. Stop. Stop eating animals. That's simple. All right. Oh, we've got to go to this one because what? Oh, wow. In a day, Sunday. What are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? Just look at the grease. Use that grease to like grease your bike or something. Oil up your bike, not your arteries. That's a shock. This is, I don't know if she even ate this. So. So to start with, I had McDonald's washing in McMuffin meal with free hash browns. Oh I forgot gosh. to list, look at my notes, so I had to improvise with the syrup. And wow. then on one of my videos where I had a McDonald's. Okay, so this is how it works too. You have someone here who looks healthy enough, you know, very young. Very young. What, is she even 20? Probably not. Very young. She has a lot of makeup on. So you don't really see the true results of eating this way and is she really eating this way and how often does she eat this way you have to ask these critical questions when you see these videos and she says here guys i do not eat like this every day good i was hung over and just chilling up that was like pretty much three meals of ice cream just on yeah okay then i was breakfast before a few people were commenting saying put the hash brown in the middle so that's exactly what i did and then okay so what oh um right more fried Remember, we don't see this all being eaten. I highly doubt she eats this whole lot. She probably shares it with someone, but this is not food. Can we please all agree? This is not food. This is a nightmare. After this, I got myself boneless banquet from KFC. Oh. I pretty much always get the same thing from there. Um, gross, which is mate, banquet, gross. Yeah. And coleslaw, I literally love KFC. I think she just likes looking at herself in the mirror, to be honest. I feel like it's kind of like that sort of situation. She's looking into the lens of the camera, <laughs> looking at herself the whole time. Coleslaw. So here's a few random videos of me eating chicken strips. It's just this whole like and then food porn thing, you know, like it gets some views, it gets some attention, it gets some followers, but they don't think about the actual influence they have on others, you know. After this, I had myself. Oh, more fried? She must have felt like hell. Absolute hell after this some yikes people are gonna think i've never eaten this bad in my life honestly like all day eating like that no it's a gross but mccain's microwave chips i love them oh and she she looks different there she looks like she's quite a lot puffier probably from all the sodium incredible amount of sodium there's Wait. no vinegar left it'd run out so i put worcester sauce melted cheese and chili flakes and it's actually really nice. oh gosh okay so she's eating all the animals like right nice then I had myself a double cheeseburger, plain, of course, from McDonald's. Ugh. This is just no fibre, just pure gut ache. Um, Shay, Shay and Liam, please show the reality of how you feel after you eat all this. Take us to the toilet with you. You probably go once a week, I'd and say. And then... Oh, but with all that fat, she probably goes more often, but it'd be like just an oil slick, you know what I'm saying? I'm home, took my extensions out, so like a bald rat. Yeah, so you've got to remember that. She has extensions, lots of makeup. You, we don't really see the real actual things in her lip. You don't even see the actual human face a lot of the time and the impact that eating like this has, but she's also very young as well. And oh, I know, so she's having like the bovine secretion. Don't worry about mama cow, hey, just worry about your taste buds.
was an ice cream man, which I don't even really oh, like no. ice cream, so I don't know why I've done that. I don't pollute the but, dog's body too. But I ate what I wanted and I gave the rest to my dogs. It's just there's no responsibility taken, it seems, doesn't it? A very delicious day. Well, we will, be, we will be the judge of that. For me, like, I don't find these foods, like, delicious anymore. I can make such healthier versions and I feel good after it and just don't have that living with regret feeling, you know? In a day, part 200. Oh, wow, cool. We got that. My favorite sound, the Mario sound, Mandy Cap. Fantastic. 12. Gyros. Oh, gosh. I remember having this when I went to the Greek islands and, yeah, just basically wanted to die afterwards. It's not something that I would recommend, that is for sure. Oh, what is happening? That video we cannot watch for some strange reason. So let's keep going, shall we? Um, all right. Here's a healthy but very realistic what I eat in a day. At okay, so she calls this a healthy but very realistic what I eat in a day, 30 pounds down. All right, let's go. Let's see what you got. 30 pounds down. I start every morning with my greens and then I had it. Okay, so she's having some green powdered superfood thing. Um, if you want to, okay, but you're going to waste a lot of money on this stuff. Better off just juicing some greens if you really want and add it to a smoothie. A peanut butter and banana sandwich with PB2 on top of some... Yeah, a fair bit of PB2, um, peanut butter there. But remember, have it organic. Glyphosate's not the best. Cinnamon for a pre-workout snack. After okay. my workout... Well, it's not terrible. It's not terrible because there's no animals involved there. But obviously the bread is very wartime. Stick it in the bunker. Um, but yeah, when she... I having... had an iced almond milk latte with sugar-free. Yeah, so she's having like sugar-free and she's having caffeine because she's not getting enough actual, you know, fruit nutrition. You need a lot. You need a lot. You need a lot of good carbohydrates. Pumpkin syrup. And then for breakfast, I had a berry banana protein shake. Awesome. Oh, protein. <laughs> Berry banana protein shake. So she probably had a whole lot of protein powder in that and probably one banana and a couple of berries. But at least she got a smoothie in there and at least there's some living food and it looks it looks good. But yeah, it's hiding that protein in there. Shake for lunch. I had a turkey burger. These are from... Oh no. Why'd you have to go there? Why do you have to bring an innocent animal into this? Peter Joe's and they are so good. I had that with some berries. That looks very dry. Very dry. The berries, okay. Like, they look beautiful. It's kind of a low carb option for some individuals. You know, they go for the, if they're into the protein, pushing the protein, they're like, oh yeah, berries, lower sugar. And then I made a protein a pumpkin a mug cake for a uh, snack. This was amazing. What? A protein pumpkin a mud cake. Right. I, I've seen that coming up a lot, these protein powders and they're making it into cakes and muffins and all that sort of thing. Don't do it. Okay, you're just stressing your kidneys. You're just stressing your organs of elimination, of filtration. They don't need this extra protein. Thing. For dinner, I had spaghetti squash with vodka sauce and some turkey meatballs. First time making this and it was... Oh, okay. Yeah, so it seems like she's going a bit of the lower carb route here. There's no pasta. There's no potatoes. There's nothing with real substantial calories in it, carbohydrates in it. She's got the... I mean, of course, I'm a fan of the spaghetti squash. I think it's great. But if you're replacing pasta which is a, like a big whack of carbs and calories with something that has like, you know, 50 calories, it's not going to leave you satiated. Then you're going to go for crap. You're going to end up binging out and she's eating animal balls. Lovely. So good. For dessert, I had two of these ice cream cones and that was my Yeah, day. because she's not getting enough good carbohydrates and um, fructose. Very important to get the fructose so you avoid the refined sugar. Here's a healthy but... Okay, so yeah, that wasn't particularly healthy, but she did have some living nutrition in there, which was good at least. Okay, let's go to this individual here. This is what I eat in a day as a skinny girl who doesn't really care what she eats, doesn't care about calories, just eats intuitively. My oh, so a skinny girl doesn't care what she eats, eats intuitively, doesn't count calories. Right. Interesting. Let's have a look then. Mostly a lot of shit, but you know what? I'm not going to say that I've got a fast metabolism because last time I said it and it pissed every, well, half the people off. Some pe look, let me just dispel the myth right now. No, people don't have fast metabolisms. They do not. It's what they eat. A lot of these individuals are under eating. It's very easy to misrepresent yourself on social media, you know, represent yourself in a way that is favorable, you know, like and say, oh, hey, I'm not eating much. I'm not eating much. I'm oh, sorry. What am I saying? Um, you know, I've got a fast metabolism. I can eat whatever I want. Nah, it's that's not true. Some people think I've got a fast metabolism. Some people think I haven't and I'm normal. I no, you're just eating like you're just not you know, you're under eating 
or you're exercising a lot or there's always a very obvious reason behind it. Can't win to be honest so I'm just going to show you what I eat and just get over it all right. So anyway for breakfast I had the usual you know the deal if you saw the last one I have Quaker oats porridge and this time I had strawberry and cranberry. I mean like that's quite healthy she's starting the day quite healthy there it's like plant-based at this point you know some granola and berries okay flavor and I, I mean it will keep you slim if you eat like this right this like cereal over the top and some strawberries and raspberries and then i've now added a okay. dollop of peanut butter oh wow that's quite a big dollop there i would be avoiding the glyphosates remember get organic peanut butter but you this is going to slow you down this is going to slow your whole body down as it's trying to work its way through this excess fat sludging up your bloodstream basically so don't you know and that's why you end up needing coffee because this is slowing you right down it just yeah don't do it just leave it out and you're going to have way more energy to to this um recipe as well and in my milk i mean in my coffee i'm having oat vanilla milk no soy vanilla milk and it's absolutely oh good she's having so she's having a fully plant-based breakfast that's great delicious much cheaper than all those spenny alternatives this was a saturday so i had just done my makeup and realized that i need to eat lunch or i need to eat something to tide me over before my oh. birth Okay, King Pot Noodle Bombay Bad Boy Turn Back. What? Holy, the marketing is out of hand. It's so tiny. <laughs> this little tiny thing. I would need about 10 of these. Birthday dinner. It's not my birthday, but it's like my pre-birthday dinner. So I thought, you know what? The only thing I can eat is a pot noodle because I don't want to eat anything that's too messy around my mouth. It makes me have to do my makeup all over again. The okay, so she, but just because of her makeup, just because of her makeup, she is restricting what she's eating. That's the world we live in. So she wouldn't eat a mango or something that's juicy and a bit messy because of her makeup. And I love mm. a Bombay bad boy, to be honest. I don't put that much water in it and it just tastes, oh my God, my mouth started, just started watering just watching it. And then I had some filler done, so I'm just showing you my profile. But I forgot to film dinner okay. at the amazing Italian restaurant I went to in London. So I'm showing you the next Oh no, she has some animal there. Oh, I thought she might be plant-based. Instead, so I was so hungover and I am one of those people that eats food in my bed. I'm sorry. So I got a quarter. Yeah, she's obviously got some eating issues. She eats food in her bed and I mean, she's probably not dedicating proper meals. So then she's like really ravenous and she just eats up, ends up eating a lot in bed. Duck and some pancakes and then all the fillings from the Chinese and I ate the whole thing. And then oh, I don't know. It's not particularly funny. Your, your videos are not particularly funny. It's just, yeah, just some cruel food at the end. So, yeah, she's just under eating to stay slim or oh, she's doing something else. We, we will never know, right? We will never know. So there's a lot of videos here. I'm just going to put this on pause. Um, there's a lot of videos and there's a lot of individuals, young women putting out what they're eating and just being a terrible influence, really, in general, in general. There's, there's some great influences too, but just being a terrible influence and thinking it's okay and being acting like pathetic is cool, you know, and having drugs is like cool as well. I'm here to tell you it's not, it's not, it's going to lead to pain later on in your life, that's for sure. And even in your, in the short term and also for animals, obviously. So please don't follow these people. They have no idea. Check out the Raw to 4 lifestyle, check out a fruit-based lifestyle and it's going to change your life forever and you're actually going to feel fantastic. So don't forget to go fruit yourself and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily videos.